And the Civilian Office of Police Accountability has found an off-duty Chicago police officer justified for a shooting man that he says he thought was trying to force his way into his apartment. But there is still a dispute over what happened. NBC5 Investigates' Bennett Haberly joins us now with more. Bennett. And Marion Copen found that the officer's statements about that shooting were credible. But the attorney for the man shot says some of those statements, though, sit in contrast with what surveillance video shows. A warning tonight, some of this material may be difficult to watch. You the police? Yes, sir. The shooting happened more than two years ago at the Northwest Side apartment of off-duty Chicago police officer Ewan Smith. I work in 10. Okay. In district. As EMS and Chicago police arrived, Jose Mendoza lay bleeding in the hallway. I knocked on my door as I broke to open it, pushed it in, and I tried to close it. And he, he just pushed it, he forced his way in. In this report published Friday, the Civilian Office of Police Accountability found Officer Smith was justified in shooting Mendoza, a person he suspected was attempting to force his way in. The report notes that the incident demonstrates that Mendoza sought to enter Officer Smith's apartment in a violent manner and that Officer Smith reasonably feared an assault or further violence. Mendoza's attorney, Thomas Glasgow, says he's appalled and mystified by the decision. What this looks like, to be honest with you, is COPA simply giving an officer a pass. Glasgow admits his client was drunk on the night of March 31st, 2021, and was planning to stay with a friend when he mistakenly entered the vestibule of the wrong building. Surveillance video shows Mendoza standing unsteady at times in the hallway. Nine minutes pass before he tries the door of what turned out to be Smith's apartment. He crouches down. Notice the light changes. Mendoza stands up and seconds later slumps down again with a bullet wound to the head. In a statement to the COPA board, Officer Smith said Mendoza continued to push his way into the apartment and that Officer Smith realized that was overpowering him. The COPA report also notes that Smith stated Mendoza dragged himself out of the apartment into the hallway, where Officer Smith performed a protective pat down and determined he did not have any weapons. The video clearly shows that that never ever occurred. Watch for yourself. After Mendoza is shot, he lies on the ground bleeding. Six minutes go by before Officer Smith appears, and when he does, the video shows him step over Mendoza and walk down the stairs. Did he have a weapon on him? Yeah, I have a weapon. No, I thought he didn't have a weapon. He wasn't concerned about weapons. He wasn't concerned that he might be injured. In fact, he turns his back on Jose several times. And that is extremely disturbing. Well, the Chicago Fire Department ambulance report. Glasgow wouldn't agree to less interview Mendoza, who still faces a criminal trespass charge. He's also suing the city and Smith over the shooting. His mother tells me the incident has changed her son. It's something that they, he took away from his life, especially, you know, his eye. You know, he can even see his uh, part of the side is paralyzed. He's not the same. He would never be the same. The city's law department, which represents Officer Smith and the Chicago police, declined to comment. We also reached out three times today to COPA to ask questions about their ruling. We have not yet heard back. Stephen? Bennett Haberly with us tonight. Bennett, thank you very much.